it's Roxy here. So I wanted to share with you something I've been using for a couple of years now. Um, it's taken me this long to get around to making a, a video on it. Um, but I've always had found, found it to be difficult to keep um, food dry inside an ice chest. I mean, you can use Ziploc bags, but a lot of times they leak. Um, and things like that. So a couple of years ago, um, one of my followers, Mary, uh, sent me um, something to try out. And I have been using um, this product now for a couple of years, um, probably about six or seven months out of each year. Um, and I'm on my second one now. Uh, I wore out the first one. I'm using my second one. Um, and this is uh, a it's called the Ice Lock Ice Bag. And uh, what it's designed to do, of course, is you fill it up with ice, um, you seal it really tight, and you put it inside your ice chest. And as it, it, it insulates the ice, so it makes it last longer. Um, and as the ice melts, it stays inside the bag so that it you can use the water again afterwards you can use it to drink or um you know for dishes or whatever you want to use it for and it saves the um it saves the water from getting all gunked up with uh, glue from labels or you know just stuff floating around in there the water can get icky and more often than not i would uh, pour it away or use it for rinsing my toilet or something like that um, so I found that with this, I can actually reuse the water again for cooking or just drinking cold. How may I help you? Hi, do you sell bags of ice? Yes, we do. Can I get a bag of ice, please? Okay, give me one second. Thank you very much. Yes, you have a good one. You too. That's the easiest way to get ice. McDonald's does eight pound bags and although this says it takes 10 pounds um, for my little ice chest I have found that eight pounds is the max so these little bags from McDonald's are um, perfect for what my needs and then as you can see I have a small ice chest so this uh, bag is actually really it's too big for my ice chest which is why the eight pound bag of ice is more perfect, but still it actually takes up about half of my ice chest. So I have to limit how much um, food I buy, but usually it's not an issue because there's grocery stores everywhere. Okay, well stocked. Um, I have kept a couple of things out. Uh, Brussels sprouts keep really well if you just keep them in a cool place. Um, they don't really have to be refrigerated, but I will put them in here once it empties out a bit. Um, these little red peppers, these multicolored ones, I found they last quite a long time just in a cool place. Put these uh, vegetables in a cool place, maybe under my bed, out of the sun. Um, my goodness. <laughs> I'm right outside McDonald's, that's why it's so noisy. And I'm going to lock it down, and this will make my ice uh, just stay cooler for about uh, two or three or even four or five days longer. Um, depends on a lot of things. Inside temperature of your van, outside temperature, how much stuff you have in the ice chest. There's so many variances. But even after the water has all melted, it will keep your ice chest cold quite a bit longer. All right. Take out what I have in here. And here is the back. Now it's been three days 
chocolates I put um, about eight, eight or nine pounds of ice in here. So the bag's pretty easy to use. I think the hardest part is actually sealing this. It's um, so it's a zipper across the top and you have to kind of lay it flat and click it together and then press along and press along, press along. And that is actually the hardest part of the whole thing. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I like to use a little absorbent towel on the bottom of mine. Um, I found I can mop it out and just, you know, wring it out. Back in again. And this, of course, is one of the nicer features. No water gets wasted. So there's my little ice chest. There is a, some tortilla wraps on top and it's sitting on a regular a small doormat, just so you get an idea of the size. Okay, before I go, I just wanted to give a heads up to um, these silicone bags they have out these days. This one, I don't know the name of it, I'm afraid. There's nothing on it, but I have found that these silicone bags with the zip, some of them zip really, really tight and they can float around in water for a long time and nothing gets in them. This one I especially liked. Uh, this is by Joey, J-O-I-E, and what I liked about it was that uh, it actually has a um, kind of a, a pushed on, um, yeah, it, this kind of flips down, it's got a little hinge here, and it flips down, and I figured, you know, no matter what, even if the hinge on this breaks, you could still get a seal on this, and it's a real heavy duty, but I think they stopped making those. Um, this particular brand, but like I said, I don't know the name of it. Um, I started out with Zip Seal, um, which I really like, but as you can see, after a while, the edge here wrinkles up. And uh, it's actually the, the zipper on this actually damaged fairly easily to where you can get a tight seal. So, um, anyway your own experimentations with uh, silicone bags and of course these are washable and reusable and uh, they last a long time so I think they're a great idea in ice chests. Hey there so there you have it I hope you found this video helpful um, and I'm sure there's other products available out there that do a similar kind of thing um, if you did find this helpful or if you'd like to join me on my travels and adventures, um, I do a lot of outdoor hiking and stuff like that, um, please click the subscribe button and then be sure to click the bell and in the drop down menu by the bell, choose all notifications. That way you will actually get notified when I upload a new video. And also please give me a like um and share this and that helps with my analytics and helps me reach new people and i guess that's about it um so i hope this was helpful bye also please like and subscribe well, shoot. Ah. Well, there you have it. <laughs> um, that way you will get notifications. <laughs> rabble, 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 rabble.